Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 1 of 1 Timothy, chapter 2. First of all, then, I urge that requests, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made in behalf of all people, for kings and all who are in authority, so that we may lead a tranquil and quiet life in all godliness and dignity. This is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who wants all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God and one mediator also between God and mankind, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all, the testimony given at the proper time. For this I was appointed as a preacher and an apostle. I am telling the truth, I am not lying, as a teacher of the Gentiles in faith and truth. A friend of mine, says Dr. Stanley, recently told me about a cab driver who had religious symbols representing Christianity, Islam, Buddhism, and Hinduism displayed in his taxi. My friend asked why he had so many contrasting religions represented. The driver said they were for protection. When asked which one served that purpose, the man said, I don't know, but I want to be sure that one will work, so I have all of them. In the United States, it's easy to think that most people at least know about Jesus Christ, but there are men and women we see each day who have no knowledge of our Savior. 1 Timothy 2 verses 5 and 6 says, There is one God and one mediator also between God and mankind, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all. That truth is the foundation for the Christian faith. Through Jesus the Son, we are forgiven and reconciled to the Heavenly Father. Don't assume that everyone in your life is familiar with the good news of Jesus Christ. Whether it's a co-worker, a new friend, or your longtime neighbor, you may be the only person they know who can tell them the truth about the one true God and Savior.